Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to our home. We are just getting started on our day, and we're going to do more Christmas decorating today. We're doing school right now. The kids are doing their morning journals. Are you guys excited to do more decorating? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, Bennett, you excited? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do some school this morning. I need to run out and get a few groceries as well. So I'll do that. We'll get all that stuff done, and then I'm going to get some more decorating done. So I think... Uh, my goal for today is to do uh, my bedroom, my husband and my, my bedroom, and I might, depending on time, be able to get started on the mudroom. I don't know. And we, I also have a really cute little hot cocoa bar that I set up. So I don't know how much I'm going to get to today, but we will see. But for now, we're going to work Where's on our morning journals. Our hot cocoa bar. Our hot cocoa bar, where we set up all the, the mugs and the hot chocolate with the little jars for the no, I don't know toppings. What that is. You don't remember it? Oh, we, you'll see it later. Anyway, okay, well, we're going to get some stuff done first. All right, so I'm in my sunroom right now, and in my last video, I showed you the tree behind me here, and I've added a few things to it, and I'm actually going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to wait and show you that full finished thing, probably the next video after this one. Um, you can see a few things. If you watched the last one, you might be able to spot a few differences already, but there's gonna be a few more changes to that one. But I had to rearrange this sunroom. We keep all of our homeschool stuff in here. And so I had to rearrange it a little bit. My shelf was over there. I'm gonna show you what I've done. It's a mess right now because I'm organizing Christmas things. But the shelf was over here. I've moved it now. And now it's over here. So this is where we keep all of our homeschool stuff. We really need to have it accessible to the kitchen because that's where we do all of our homeschool for the most part. It works well here. We like it. Your numbers are so neat. Good job. Really good. So we're doing math right now. Becca's in her room doing her math. And we're going to get this done. And then I think we'll be done for the day. I really like how we're doing math this year because Rebecca does teaching textbooks, so she's completely independent now with her math, and so it gives me time to focus with Bennett on his, where obviously he's younger, so he needs that one-on-one -on -one attention. Anyway, yeah, we love it. It works really well for us. So we're going to get math done, we're going to get groceries, and then I'm going to do some more decorating. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're done school, I got my groceries. And now I'm gonna decorate my bedroom. And I love this part. Getting my own room done is just, oh, it's so fulfilling. But my room is a mess right now, kind of because I've been purposely not doing too much with it, knowing I was gonna do this today. So I'm gonna strip my bed, put on my Christmas bedding. I have a tree that goes in my bedroom. I'm gonna get that up. I have garland that I put on my headboard. So it's gonna be such a nice transformation. All right, I just got fresh sheets on my bed and I tried filming it, but honestly, it was a mess because my dogs kept jumping up on the bed and it just, yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't going so well. So that's okay. I got fresh sheets on the bed. You all know what it looks like to change sheets. <laughs> that is done. And now I'm going to get out my Christmas duvet cover and get my bedding done. And then I'm going to put up my tree. All right, I'm going to show you a really easy way to change your duvet cover. I feel like I've been doing it wrong for so many years and I came across this method recently and it's amazing. So first, just lay your duvet out on your bed and then you're going to put your duvet cover over top of it inside out. Now most duvet covers have little ties in the corners and so just tie your duvet to the corner. So this is all pretty standard, I think. If it doesn't have ties, then just make sure when you go to pull it through that you are grabbing onto the actual duvet, uh, not just the duvet cover, but this one, this one has ties, so I've just gone through and tied all the corners. Now I'm reaching up through the bottom and I am grabbing the very top corner. And you'll see here, I'm just pulling that through. Then I reach up the other side, grab it and pull it through. Um, grab the seam, give it a shake, and then sort of throw it up near the top. Then I'm going to reach down the bottom, and I pull each corner through from the bottom. 
Again, grab the seams, line everything up at the bottom, give it a really good shake so it's all straight, and that's it, it's done. It's like you're flipping it inside out, or outside in, I guess you could say. It's so easy and quick. So basically a game changer when it comes to changing the duvet. Right now I am changing out the covers on my throw cushions and as much as possible I like to just get new throw pillow covers and not the actual pillow itself because the, it, the pillows get so expensive and then you have to find a space to store them through the year. So these ones here are double sided, they have snowmen on one side and snowflakes on the other. I like to show the snowflake side, I just like how it contrasts with the uh, plaid bedding. It just looks so cozy and Christmassy. And I actually decided instead of doing my tree next, I decided to just go ahead and do the garland on my headboard. So right now I'm putting little command hooks. I put three of them on the top of my headboard and that just helps to hook the garland on so that it doesn't fall off and land on our heads because that would not be very fun. So yeah, I just do one on each end and one in the middle. So as I place the garland here, I just hook the garland through each command hook and it works really, really well. I've done this now for a few years and I've never had an issue with it. And it also doesn't damage my headboard because the command hooks are so easy to take on and off. So it works well. I love having the garland on my headboard at night. The, the ambiance that it creates in the bedroom is just so incredibly cozy. Now I'm going to put up my tree. So I'm just doing a little bit of vacuuming first and now I'm going to set my tree up. Now the tree that I put in my bedroom is a seven foot tall pencil tree. I absolutely love it. I've used it in various different parts of our previous home, uh, but in this home, and we've only lived in this house, well, this is this will be our second Christmas here. Um, and in this home, it just fits so perfectly in our bedroom. We don't have a huge bedroom, so having a full-size tree in here just gets too crowded. So this pencil tree is the perfect size, and it's really easy to put together. I, it doesn't even require a whole lot of fluffing up. It's just a really great tree. And I do all white lights in my bedroom. And you'll see here in a minute, my daughter, she comes in and helps me put the decorations on. I really do try to involve the kids as much as possible with all the Christmas decorating because it creates such good memories for them. And I want them to enjoy the Christmas season just as much as I do. While my daughter and I continue decorating this tree, I just wanted to take a minute to thank you and tell you how much I appreciate the fact that you're here with me today. I know that there are so many videos on YouTube you could be watching and I really do appreciate the fact that you're here with me. If you haven't already, click subscribe. That way you don't miss out on all the wonderful things that are to come. I am 
loving my bedroom so far. And I'm now going to put out some of my smaller decor pieces around. Um, I don't have a lot of surface space in my bedroom, but I do have just enough. I don't want to clutter things up, but I just want to add a little bit of extra Christmas sparkle. So I'm going to do that now. But first, I'm going to light this candle. I love oh, candy cane. You can't Christmas decorate without it smelling like Christmas, right? So I'm going to light this and it's going to really make this room extra special cozy. <laughs> I'm starting by just dusting everything off and getting it ready to decorate. Now these shelves here on the wall, this is where we display a lot of our family photos. So I'm just taking them off, giving them a good dusting and I'm also going to wipe the shelves off really good as well. Decorating is always a good time to make sure everything is clean and dust free and it always feels way better when you put your Christmas decorations on a clean surface. I don't know, I don't know who would want to decorate a dirty surface that just would not be nearly as enjoyable so I get everything wiped off and then I'm going to um, just set everything back up but I don't put all the pictures back on I'm putting some Christmas decorations on these shelves as well and this was really fun for me it's almost like a tiered tray mentality but on a shelf instead so I just played around with it moved things around a little bit and in the end I, I was really happy with the result So this table, this is my uh, night table, and I've got to laugh at it. I mean, it's so stained, but these little drawings right here, <laughs> Rebecca, who is now almost 11, drew these on here when she was about four years old. I, I'm a hairstylist, and I used to have a salon in my home. I no longer actively uh, do hair, but I still hold my license. Anyway, when I had a salon in my home, this was in my salon, and one day Rebecca came down and she drew... A picture of I think this was my husband it's a picture of daddy and her and I don't know who that is maybe it was Bennett although if she was four Bennett wouldn't have been born yet and then she wrote mummy's salon <laughs> and I can't bear to get rid of these I don't know like I know you know you should have your furniture looking all nice and but you know what some things are worth saving and to me this is one of them I don't know. Part of me wants to paint over this, another part of me really, really doesn't. Because as she gets older, every time I look at this, I remember that day when she was so little. So it stays for now. <laughs>
So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take down that wall hanging there. Actually, my best friend made that for me quite a few years ago and I love it, but I'm going to put something Christmassy up there in its place. So this is what I have and it's one of my favorite signs. I just love this. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. The Christmas is in wooden letters and it's raised with the trees. I absolutely love this piece. So I'm going to swap out what's over our bed with this. Alright, so here we are setting up our hot cocoa bar. I always have fun doing this and this year Rebecca really got into it as well. She had a lot of great ideas on how we could set this up. Now the mugs that I am putting out, those were actually custom made for us by a friend of mine and we are all really big fans of the movie Elf. So each one of these mugs has a different saying on it from the movie. So that's pretty fun, we really enjoy those. And while I was filming this, my battery died actually. So some of the footage of us actually assembling this gets kind of cut off. So I'm sorry for that, but I did come back later on in the evening and film the end result once I had all the twinkle lights in place and everything. So you still get to see the finished product and it's, it turned out really good. We're really happy with it. Well, that's all for me today. It's been a great day and I've gotten so much done. My house is really starting to feel so cozy and so Christmassy. I still have our kitchen, our entire mudroom. Then we do a real tree in the living room. <laughs> Angel. I'm probably gonna enjoy a cup of hot chocolate tonight from our new hot cocoa bar. Anyway, so click subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.